All right. Yeah. Okay. What we have here is my own homemade version of a Cameron Yeti. Cameron and Yeti, two guys who designed a trench periscope rifle device, uh, post World War One, never used in combat. Um, they designed it, and I copied it. And basically, it is designed to be able to keep the operator below the trench line and safe. The uh, your shoulder would go here. I go to here in the periscope, you're looking out here, so you can, and you operate the bolt down here. So the idea is you can, the operator can be below the trench line, be safe from enemy gunfire, and still snipe at the enemy. So, so you would, you get your shoulder here, eyeball here, you operate the bolt, right there. And the trigger is right here. Let's see here. If we can get that organized, you can fire it like that. So once again, I'll break the bolt down here below the trench line. Bring the bolt back, pick up a round, and fire it. Um, it's very heavy, it's awkward, never seen, never saw combat, not practical, particularly in my opinion. I think that if I was on the office side of the field, and I saw this thing sticking up above the trench line. I brought mortars on it, and that would solve that right there. But it does work. It's interesting. It's a bit heavy. I built it heavier than the real ones, although I've never actually had my hand on a real one. I built this off pictures. Um, but it's heavy. It's awkward. You can carry it just like that, and you've got it ready to go, you know, to the front. But it's really heavy. Really awkward, but it does, you know, and every time you can. Fire it remotely, like that. So anyway, that is the Cameron Yeti Trench Periscope Sniper Rifle, post-war one design, never saw combat. Other nations, the Brits, French, Russians, Germans, made their own designs to do the same thing in a very different way, but they made their own designs. Much lighter, probably cheaper than this, uh, maybe better. No one ever mass produced them. They just weren't that good an idea. Um, but anyway, and I'll put a, a second video tomorrow firing this thing. So, thanks for watching.